Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Radio World. Today we're gonna to be installing Serial 3D's filler panel lights on our 2020 Rogue Glide Special. All right, so here's what came in the box. You got your left and right filler panel lights uh, from Serial 3D. It came uh, with some instructions. They always provide instructions with some good pictures on exactly uh, what you need to do as far as uh, installing and everything else. Uh, it does come with the CAN bus decoder. So if you do plan on purchasing other Serial 3D products, you only need this one uh, CAN bus can bus decoder. It comes with dielectric grease inside the bag as well as some zip ties. Uh, so yeah, this is what we got here. We'll go ahead and uh, get this, get the bike prepped and get it installed. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and remove these saddlebags. Uh, just make sure you got somewhere you're putting your saddlebags. You're just trying to figure it out last minute. All right, so after you remove the saddlebags, uh, you go ahead and uh, remove your seat. All right, so after you remove your seat and your uh, saddlebags, we'll go ahead and remove this side panel here. We'll also be removing the other side panel. Uh, it just pops right out. We'll go ahead and uh, remove this side panel here. Uh, it just pops right out. Same thing, it's just got uh, three retaining clips here uh, inside these little three grommets. All right, so here, once we have everything removed, we're gonna go ahead and uh, prep the surface area. So when we stick these uh, filler panel lights on there, they have a good place to adhere to with that 3M tape. So we'll go ahead and uh, clean this off with some ammonia-based uh, glass cleaner. So spray these off and clean them up. Get any of those fingerprints, dirt, and grime off. All right, once you have the uh, surface area prepped, we'll go ahead and dry fit the uh, filler panel lights first. So if you look on the bottom here, it's got these two clips, uh, holds on to the bottom of here, and it helps you line up the, uh, the filler panel light. That way you can get on there nice and straight. So we'll do like a nice little dry fit. This, this uh, wiring harness will here, this little wire will hang down here, and uh, do a nice little dry fit. So you slide up and you can see it stops right there. Uh, that's where it sets you in. So we'll go ahead and prep this 3M tape. So what we'll do is do a little, scratch it a little bit here. Scratch it or you can use a heat gun and uh, apply some heat to it just to activate that uh, 3M tape back there. I'm gonna pull that 3M tape off. You got your sticky side there. And uh, just go ahead and make sure you're taking your time on this. Uh, you're lining it up correctly before you stick it all the way on. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get it on here. We'll try to lean it out a little bit, get that bottom to hit first. And then once I feel that bottom hit, then I'll just kind of drop it down in there. All right, so we'll go ahead and get the uh, other side on there. Go ahead and activate this uh, 3M tape. You don't need to apply heat to it. Um, you can if you want, and then go ahead and uh, peel it up. Just make sure you got it all lined up at the bottom. Let it go ahead and stick to the bottom first. Go ahead and apply pressure for about 60 seconds. All right, so here you have your uh, filler panel light wire here. Um, basically it hangs down here, and then we'll just route it up along this here and zip tie it along the strut here. So we'll zip tie it along there, and then we'll find a spot that we're gonna route it through here. Um, preferably under here, not on top of here.
All right, as you can see here, I routed it up through here, uh, zip tied it, these spots here, all the way up. Um, I will be cutting these off, obviously. Uh, routed it through here, and then what I did was I went under here, behind the frame, and then up, and went through this little spot here. So, uh, enough, there's definitely enough wire, um, especially with the uh, controller that you get. So I'm just gonna route it in down through here, All I'm gonna do is follow these wires, these OAM wires here, and uh, I'll zip tie it to there. So you can see it comes in through down there. Routed it up here, uh, just zip tied it here along with the OEM wires. Um, zip tied it here, I'll cut these off. It routed it up through there. Followed these wires and down into here. And basically all it does is pop out they both pop out right here. This I have my latitude tail light uh, wire here, and then my filler panel light wire here. All right, so here we have our uh, CAN bus decoder. We're going ahead and uh, just another splitter with your uh, two leads, your two wire leads here for your filler panel lights. So right now we have the latitude tail light installed, and it's splitting there. So if we were to go back to stock. Here's our splitter here, along with our latitude tail light here. There's our splitter. If we were to go back to stock, it'd be just that right there. So what we're gonna do is we'll plug in our splitter to the rear. So the splitter for the uh, latitude tail light will leave it plugged into the rear there. And then what we'll do is we'll plug in our decoder to the front. And this is all plug and play, so it only goes in one way. So we have it plugged into the front lead there, and uh, this is all controlling the rear lights. So plug it into the splitter on the uh, latitude tail light, and then we have our two leads here. Our brown wire is going to go to the right, and then our violet uh, violet wire is going to go to the left so as you're sitting on the bike uh, brown is right and violet is left so we'll go ahead and plug these in uh, we will throw some dielectric grease on there but we'll go ahead and make sure that everything's wired correctly we'll turn on the bike and then we can always disconnect them and add that uh, dielectric grease on there so everything's on there uh, we'll go ahead and make this nice and neat once we're all done so we'll go ahead and uh, check the function all right, so we have everything plugged in. Uh, we'll go ahead and check the function, make sure everything's plugged in correctly. Uh, hitting our brakes. There's our brakes there. And then we got our uh, right turn signal and left turn signal. All right, looks like everything's right. All right, so we'll go ahead and disconnect these, add that uh, dielectric grease. I just wanted to make sure that uh, everything was working right. All right, so let's make sure uh, you got your violet on the left side here, and then you got your brown wire on the right. We'll go ahead and button this all back up, and uh, we'll definitely do a, a review on the tail lights. Take it right on at night. That way you can guys see what it looks like at night, and uh, what those added safety features are when you add those zero LED lights. Mm -hmm.